Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this rather surprising video. The release date has essentially been confirmed for Dragonflight. We can now pre-order the expansion, so in the shop you can have your normal edition, heroic edition, or the epic edition, depending on how many cosmetics you want and the like, but within that there is the Dragonflight will be released on or before December the 31st of 2022. That does mean it is going to be a this year release which is something that we predicted way back at the start of 2022 during the whole what are we doing for the channel for the year which is a bit of a surprising to be honest I wasn't expecting to be right I was kind of hoping against hope I guess that we were going to see a 2023 Q1 release and this is because obviously we're now getting towards the back end of June we don't have any beta testing going out yet. Any knowledge of the alpha is also very limited, so we don't know how much testing is being done behind grounds or feedback. And the information that we do have for Dragonflight so far is limited. It's optimistic, but it's limited. So swapping to the main screen, uh, rather than showing you the press conference link and stuff like that, announcing Dragonflight's final release date or end goal, this is the info the table of contents that we have on wowhead at least is the release date which we have here on or before december 31st 21 you've got the opt-in beta pre-orders some of the law which is fairly limited discussing a little bit of the zones a little bit of the new class race combo that's coming the system a little bit of content, so there'll be a new raid and new dungeons, obviously. And then a little bit discussing the system revamps. And this is it. So we've got, like, the talent tree revamp, for instance. We're getting the old talent trees back, in a sense. And you can preview those through Wowhead's talent calculator. So we'll pick Death Knight briefly, and we end up with a situation like this, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen, or for the... If you were part of the release announcement, you were potentially looking at Druid. So this, it, it looks really confusing at a start, but I promise you it's not that bad. And if you want me to discuss various elements of Dragonflight in detail, I can do. But we are very limited in the information we have. As you can see, we don't have any of the other classes yet. And I haven't seen any information about the other classes yet. So... Taking this in mind, are we ready? And should we have a 2022 release? And honestly, I'm very, very cautious on the matter. Because for those of you that might remember early in Shadowlands' life cycle, during the end of BFA, we had a very similar situation where it was Shadowlands was going to be released on or before December 31st of 2020. Uh, no. Yeah, two years ago. And as a result, Shadowlands was released in the back end of November. I believe it was November the 23rd, off the top of my head, or around then. So it was very, very late into the year. And as a result, Season 1 was very early on. It was a very buggy mess, and a lot of people didn't enjoy it. There were a lot of systems that weren't necessarily fleshed out, like conduits having a recharge system, and it being very limiting to play certain ways. And hopefully we don't end up with this situation going forward into Dragonflight. Blizzard have hopefully learned their lesson. But what this does mean is that over the coming weeks and months, we need a much higher cadence of information being thrown out so that people can give constructive feedback, especially the more experienced players, whether it be in the communities, the discords, and people that have a better grasp of the game as a whole so you know leading warlocks paladins hunters especially when it comes to class design because it's all well and good having a idea from blizzard about how they want to spec the play or how they want a class to look but like at the moment you have red paladins that just don't fit a niche and it's where they're going to put us so looking at like the base class trees as a balanced druid you're likely to end up dabbling in 
Resto spells, so having Rejuvenation, Swift Mend, Remove Corruption, as you slowly work down the tree, because you're likely to end up in a build that, if I just quickly flesh one out, is likely to look something similar to this, where you end up in a position where you have your main balance class of abilities, which are in this quadrant here, but then as you transition down the tree, you end up more and more with Stampeding Raw, Increased Healing, Heart of the Wild, and you kind of have to pick your elements. Alternatively, if you were a Resto Druid, you could go down to Skull Bash, so you could pick up the melee DPS thing. But Blizzard have expressed that there's going to be right ways and wrong ways to do this. And it's only with collaboration and feedback from the class communities as a whole we're going to learn what works and what doesn't, and if it fits the class design. So hopefully, in the near future, we might get to cover Warlock or Paladin for this reason. But we need it quickly. Otherwise, as I say, the concern is we end up with another Shadowlands Season 1, and from a raiding perspective, or from a PvE perspective as a whole, we may end up with fights like Stone Legion Generals again, which are absolute buggy messes and take forever to kill even at the top end to the point where it is almost unplayable for the casual player base and that is something that i personally don't want to see come to fruition so in the coming weeks i'll keep you guys updated with anything i see if you've got any questions feel free to ask below and i will link the press releases and other bits of information below in the description so that you guys can browse at your leisure in the meantime though hopefully i'll see you guys in Azeroth, and take care. Enjoy the rest of your night.